Hello Exorcolutionist. Welcome back to my channel. And today video is all about the Internet and Database and Populated Data Grid View. This is the interface of the form of his labels, text boxes, combo boxes, buttons and a data grid view. Let's go first on our class. It has a memory space of club registration. Then the name of the class is class registration query. This class is the collection of SQL connection that we will use on form. We have initialized this, and I already explained it, the link is on the description below. Then we have created a class method constructor, inside of it. We initialize connection string is equals to connection string of club db database, and for us can use its table after. We initialize sql connect is equals new sql connect is equals to value of connection string. So we can use the database state now. We have initialized data table equals to new data table, binding source equals to new binding source. The function of this code is to connect from database. We have created boolean return type name display list method. Inside of it we initialize string view club members is equals to query of selecting all the rows of club member table except id. Then we initialize sql adapter is equals new sql adapter value as view club members then connected. Then we initialize data table value to be clear. Then SQL adapter will fill the value of data table. Then binding source will be equal to the value of data table. Then we will return true. So the function of this code is display the selected rows from table then SQL adapter will have the value of table rows data and then it will create a bridge on connection between data table and binding source. Then data table value will become the value of SQL adapter. Then binding source will get the value of data table. This method is used to populate it to data grid view. Let's go to our form and implement it. We have created void named refresh list of club members method. Inside we call the club registration query class and the method named display list function. We already know the function of this method. Then we call the data grid view one source is equals equal to the value of club registration query class binding source of our name binding source is public in the class, so we can call it anytime. Let's run it. This is the function of the display list method. Then now for inserting data or to register club members. Let's go back to the class. This is the method will be used to insert. We have a boolean return type named register student with a parameters rows. We initialize sql command is equals new to sql command value of query inserting into club members table with the value of its variables. Then connected. The at variables will add the parameters of sql command value. The at variable values will be equal to the parameters. Then we will open the connection. Then we initialize SQL command to execute non-query. Then we will close the connection. Then return true. The function of this code is to insert data to database using the variables. Let's go to form and implement this method. This is how we implement it. We implement it inside of the btn register. So we have this variable id is equals to registration aid method. Then student id is equal to text student that is converted to long, first, middle, and last name is equal to text first, middle, and last name text. Age is equals to text age text that is converted to int. And cb gender and program is equal to cb text. Then we call the registration class with the registration student method function with the value of the parameters of the variables. Now let's run it insert data. After inputting data and clicking register we don't have an errors mean we have inserted it. Then we need to refresh the data grid view in order for us to see the data that has been inserted. Let's find the code of the refresh btn. So inside of the btn refresh we initialize the refresh list club members function. 
This is the function of the method that we have already explained. So let's try it. As you observed after clicking register we have an error as a violation of primary key and that the execute non-query means we does not return any value to SQL command because we have an error in primary key. This is because we have already a zero it and after inserting the data it's it is equal to zero so we cannot insert it because we have initialized that the ID value is equal to the registration it method function. So this is the method function it will increment the counting. Now so let's delete this data so that we can insert again. Now let's try to insert it again. Remember that our it returns 0 and increment it by 1. Then if we close the program and continue inserting then we will have an error because the it will return 0 again and increment it by 1 after inserting. That cause our program to be error on primary key. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out.